So good morning guys, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to the school. What we can It's a class where the students' wheels don't stop turning. Off. Where the lesson is one of survival. And your teachers don't appreciate blowing smoke. In this school, uniforms are mandatory. But the ABCs of the road are all about the need for speed. All right, I'm about to get in the race car for the first time. Not gonna lie, a little bit nervous. This is the car they assigned me, number 38, and I'm hoping it treats me well. Buckled in tight to this open wheel formula Mitsubishi, weighing only 1,000 pounds, its four cylinder incline engine can propel it well over 100 miles an hour. It's not about driving to the car's potential, it's about driving to your comfortable potential. the pace car at first, we practice a technique called blipping the throttle because these cars are sensitive to hard braking. Clutch in, blip the throttle, rev the gear, clutch out. The movement of rolling your foot from the brake to the throttle keeps it running smooth. That is, if you do it right. You blip the throttle to match your engine revving RPMs to the rolling wheel speed of the car. No one in the class had ever raced before, but when it came time for the rubber to meet the road, some seem to exude a natural skill. The fact that the car is totally open and you're right off the ground, uh, it feels like a go-kart, only a, uh, you know, kind of go-kart on steroids. People that are new to the sport, uh, it's pretty eye-opening, the capabilities the car has. On top of being new to the sport, 18-year-old Tyler Johnson, also known as number 37, was also new to driving stick shift. I'd start and try and start the car in like third gear and it's supposed to be in first. So it really wouldn't work. I was really nervous. I thought like sometimes I'd kind of like swerve because I'd try to like punch the thing in there. But Tyler says countless hours playing Need for Speed video games paid off. And it's like the same kind of deal where the, you have to go into the apex and then come out, right? This corner called the carousel produces the highest amount of G-force on the entire track. From the top of the hill all the way down to the bottom from when you turn into the corner all the way through the corner at the bottom you drop about 82 to 85 feet in elevation. So it's almost like being on a roller coaster. You gotta come off the gas, clutch in, clutch out, back on. Once you hit that rev limiter, then go ahead and shift to the next gear. We teach a technique called two feet in to lock the brakes down if you spin. But nothing could put the brakes on the exhilarating feeling triggered from driving a race car. It just, you know, it's just amazing. It's totally wild. By the end of the program, a lot of people end up saying uh, it's the best experience of their life. At Infineon Raceway in Sonoma, Louisa Hodge, 